On the inside, this is a Wolfpack program with two losses year, this year to Ohio State, most recently Oklahoma State. But boy, they have put it all together. Dylan Fishback, the young freshman, Reese Heller, the veteran, redshirt senior. Next up, Rock, we were both talking at lunch today. This is one of those matchups, very intriguing when you look at the youth and the talent that Fishback has and the poise and experience on the opposite corner for Reese Heller. Fishback needs a good low shot. That's how you start it off. So, Three-point takedown, right off the shot. Soon as he lowers level, watch this little level. Bam! And then he came down and he locked his hands. He was still on the mat, locked his hand. Technical violations was 3-2. Reese Heller, the NCAA qualifier, like his brother, second year at Pitt, transferred in from Hofstra. Those two brothers so close, best friends, on and off the mat, training partners. Headgear issue as Heller with an equipment malfunction. And Reese was talking about the relationship that he has with his older brother, who we saw here earlier tonight in competition. But he looks up to him. Those two, in fact, live together here on campus. Their training partners will roll around the morning of the duel. Sounded like they had a pretty physical roll around this morning. And had the older Heller a, a bit shaken up for a while today. Brotherly love between these two. Hellers. Only three by Reese Heller and a 3-2 lead over Dylan Fishback. Redshirt freshman, Fingers, Aurora, Ohio. Stay out of it, guys. Both guys, stay out of the finger lace. Fishback needs to take a page from the Derek Fields book. Just continue to attack because, like his, his older brother, Reese is very funky. Ball position. Over the top goes Heller. Fish back. Keep progressing here. Keep do progressing. Here. He tries to split and cut those legs. But Heller squeezing tightly, trying to not allow that to happen. Stalemate. Nothing going stalemate on there. Stalemate back to the center. This should not discourage Fishback. The only way you're going to score is by attacking more. Here you go, guys. Set. Let him go. Let him go. And he's attacking still. Good job neutral. of keeping that. He's keeping that, that, We're still that neutral. leg in the armpit really high and tight because you don't want him to kick out. No takedown because it's reaction time. I agree with that call. We're neutral. Spring there We're by still Heller. Neutral. He hit the mat for a split second, but then he just shot right back up to his feet. And the NC State coach staff didn't argue. We're through it. Stomach, what up? So he had an arm trip right there, right back up. He has no control there. Completely agree. Fishback is right back in there. He, he's keeping his stance and, and shooting. Both wrestlers shooting simultaneously. Dylan Fishback has had some good matches this year. He pushed top-ranked Parker Keckheisen to the wire in Nashville at the Journeyman National Collegiate Duels. He sustained a loss to Dustin Plott. It was ranked number three, 13-8. It was interesting when you talked to, to Dylan this week, he said he, he went into those matches almost respecting the opponent too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Battle through this, guys. Battle through this young. position. Battle through it. You see, this guy is ranked. He's good. He's All-American. I gotta be careful. Maybe I don't there, do what I should in. do. But no. He said, no longer I respect someone as much. Let it go. You know, all these wrestlers are tough, Rock, but a lot of these wrestlers have some tough sisters. And take a look here. Twin sister Brooke 
and Dylan Fishback. And he was sharing a story with us uh, back in his younger days. He was training for Tulsa Nationals, and his father paid Brooke to be a sparring partner, and she would get paid for getting takedowns and, and getting points. It, it worked in the long run because Dylan won that Tulsa Nationals that particular year. And he said, yeah, Brooke can kick my nose. Yeah, Brooke can beat him in, in a lot of different ways and on the mat. Brother sister love between those two. I'll tell you what, uh, Tulsa is a really tough tournament for young guys. And if Brooke, if you're listening, maybe you should work out with Dylan right before the NCAAs, and he'll win the NCAAs. I think you, my dad could have enticed my sister, though, to help center, out. Even center, the biggest center. amount of money probably would not have brought her in. That's a good sister right there. <laughs> Tied at three, a minute 15, second period. Battle center. Fishback is uh, doing a stutter step with his left, with his left foot and Action. attacking the right leg of Heller. He's doing a good job of also keeping his stance. That one shot and one takedown that Heller had was really good time. But since then, he hasn't, he hasn't sniffed that foot six. Stay out of it, guys. Don't lace them up. Don't lace the fingers up. Both wrestlers. One on one knee, Heller. Low shot there. Yeah, Fishback able to crack it. Submarines his way in on that leg. We're neutral. And that's, this is We're neutral. where Heller is very dangerous. We're neutral. He's going to try and sit the corner. When I say sit the corner, try to get his hips to the other side. And Fishback's doing a good job of keeping his hips low. He doesn't want to pop his hips up because once you pop the hips up, Dummy. That's when Helica roll through. But he's going back to that, that shot to Hella's right leg. Fingers, let him go. Both guys, stay out of this. Let it go. Good motion. Oh, now that's much better. Good defense there by Helen to get his hips low on the mat. Fishback was in a position on that double, but the hip placement by Heller, he's able to fend it off short time. Fishback looks over at the clock, one quick glance, and that will be it through two periods. Take a look at the schedule this year. Over the next few weeks, Friday night duels. Next week, we're at Reynolds, NC State, UNC, Virginia Tech. A lot of anticipation with the Hokies this year. They host Duke, North Carolina, Virginia. And we close it out February 23rd, right back at Reynolds for Virginia Tech, NC State. Hey, with your chest I like the fact that Dylan Fishback is continuing to shoot that last time he was in the legs, excuse me, in on the legs, it was getting closer and closer. So the pressure is, is can, can Helen continue to defend as Fishback continues to attack? Gets away in nine seconds. This is where it's advantageous to have really good defense. When you're tired, you know that if your first baseline defense doesn't work, if someone gets to your legs, you feel just as comfortable. Both wrestlers battling. They're trying to reposition, anchor in those heels. Throw there by Fishback. And Heller. So alert, knows exactly where he is on the edge. Not a lot of real estate to work. You see him able to reposition and get his heels back to the center of the mat. That, that's some of that experience we were talking about. That's a good observation right there. Even on the edge, right when he was out of bounds, Heller circled right back into the gray side of the mat. Pushback comes up empty. Reshot there by Heller. He's picking up as we hit 60 seconds to go. The attack rate has not slowed down. It is. It's about to go. It's about to get really, really interesting right here. Because you see that once again, Fishback is not backing up. He's still going forward. But it's just the defense of Helena so tough. 40 seconds. Watch the offense come. Shot continuation out of bounds and 
buckle up. I think you're going to have some fireworks here in the closing 30 you're gonna, seconds. You're going to see a sprint. When we say sprint, that's when the wrestler that's usually down is just going to go, 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 and just start to throw the kitchen okay, sink. And that's going to be what Fishback's going to do. Watch. He's going to keep coming, keep keep, keep moving. Trent comes up empty there by Heller. Short time. Heller's doing a good job. Watch him circle back in. He's staying on his knees. And then he's going oh, back and out. That's fine. 15 seconds. Now what he has to do is he wants to stay right in the PIT, right in the pit area. He doesn't want to get to the outside of that because that's where you get in trouble, make it a stall call. But because his defense is so good, Hella can stay right in there. And he is staying right in there. Both wrestlers trying to find some late oxygen. 10 seconds. Does Fishback have some road magic late? Heller answers that overhook. And that is going to be it. Reese Heller with a hard fought win by decision. Four to three. Heller improves his record to 13 and four. That first takedown with that low shot just cuffed the foot. That was enough. And really stout defense by Heller. But he's a freshman. And I tell you what. Fishback will learn from this. He kept attacking throughout the match, and he'll go back to the lab and at Raleigh and, and figure out what he did well. But Heller had a good job 